what's up guys? Brian with Living Vans. Uh, we are at Van Camp, an exciting new program. It's a do-it-yourself warehouse where you come in with your van, your parts, whatever you want to do, your entire vision for your van, and you get to build it with the help of a pro who's studied vans for at least a year and has good building experience so that you can save time and money on your van build. We're actually with our first van camper, Jeff, who uh, came in, he's in Colorado Springs, and we are also in Colorado Springs, that's where this warehouse is. So we linked up and we are building out his van. So Jeff, tell me a little bit about the process, how's it been, um, and first off, uh, kind of what got you into uh, wanting to get into van life in the first place? Well, I, um, I retired out of the Army here, and uh, so I've been all over the world and grew up in Ohio. And uh, we just don't have the public space in Ohio mm -hmm. and Texas like you do here. And a trip this summer, I was out, and I was like, why am I getting a hotel room when I could just go out and camp and yeah. be ready to take some pictures? Yeah. Um, so that kind of got me thinking about how to do that. And uh, since uh, I've slept too many nights on the ground and my back doesn't like that anymore, I was like, okay, how do I do it and still be able to walk in the morning? And uh, so I came up, I'm like, let's do a van. So I started researching the vans, uh, decided the Dodge Pro Master was the one that would be the best for Colorado for what I do. Yeah. And uh, started looking. And, uh, that took a, a couple months. For sure. And I uh, had a few deals fall through. Uh, right now it's really hard to just get a good van. Mm -hmm. But I finally found this van in New York and uh, flew out, uh, did some negotiations with them, flew out, got a ride up to the place and uh, Signed the paperwork, handed wow. the check. That's so, cool. And then so you flew out to New York mm -hmm. and then drove, drove all the way to back Colorado. to Colorado. That, that's yeah. great. How, how was the drive back to Colorado? It was better than I thought. The, the, the Pro Master, actually, I was worried about not being able to see out the back with this one. Mm -hmm. um, the windows were really well. I was able to see and, and do things. So it was very noisy. Um, mm -hmm. With no, It didn't have any what you see in yeah. now. There was just a huge change. Tin, yeah, uh, ref, basically echo chamber. Um, so that was one of the first things I did, and I already had the uh, the uh, Dynamat and the uh, Thinsulate already. I had already bought that even before I bought the van. Uh -huh. uh, so I knew uh, when I got back, the first thing I did was put in the kill mat and the insulation, and what a difference. So, mm -hmm. But it drove really well. Um, took me about uh, three and a half days, mm -hmm. and uh, actually got to stop and see my family in Ohio. So oh, great. It worked yeah, out well. Had a little family fits <laughs> off. That, that's yeah, awesome. It, it, that that's really awesome. Cool. And so tell me a little bit about the the van build itself. Are you going to be living in it? Is it a part-time, full-time? Is it more of just like a weekend warrior kind yeah. of camper van? It's a, I kind of look at it as a weekend warrior plus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to live in it full-time, but I see going out for maybe two or three weeks at a time. And uh, because, you know, if you want to go out to Utah or the mm -hmm. west side of Colorado, you're a five, six, eight hour drive, depending mm -hmm. on where you stop. And if you say, I'm gonna go out for four days and come back, and then I'm gonna go back out to somewhere in the same area. So I wanna be able to do a, maybe a two or three week rotation, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe even have a couple of hotel stops in the, in the middle of that. Cool. Um, but be able to just really immerse myself out in the nature and just, that's what I love. It's uh, you know, doing nature photography, so. Uh, yeah, that, that's so cool. Yeah. It fits, uh, fits you very well. Uh, so could you tell me a little bit about uh, kind of your experience at Van Camp so far? Where, Probably about almost halfway through the van build. Yeah, um, we're hoping, crossing the fingers, right? <laughs> you always run into a few, we're getting pretty close, few different issues. Yeah. But how has your overall experience um, been been here so far? Uh, actually, I think it's been really well. Um, I think there were uh, initially where we were, you know, just getting used to where things were, mm -hmm. and you know, you're like, oh, where's a, a tape measure? In right, or right. Um, but I thought it's gone really well. Um, the tools you have, and uh, like I said uh, this morning, I watching you put together furniture is totally different than I would do it and probably better. Sure. Well, that, that's <laughs> great. That's no great. probably about it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, so it's, you've been a great help. Cool. Um, Thank and you. then I think bouncing ideas off each other has really mm -hmm. uh, helped me kind of figure out to this point where, you know, how to go forward. Yeah, for sure. And even, even with myself, like building the furniture, it's just always great to have a, a second person kind of bounce off ideas yeah. off each other. Even if you're not very experienced with that, right. even like the electrical, I feel like you, you helped out 
yeah. a lot with the electrical when we had the, the <laughs> electrician kind of helping us all yeah. uh, figuring everything out. We kind of all bounced ideas off it, each it other. It helps to have good neighbors, yeah. Definitely, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. So tell me a little bit about the van. We'll kind of do a little sure. walk around um, so, here. So we'll kind of see yeah. what see what's going on here. So we got... We have a 2018, 2018 uh, okay. uh, Ram Pro Master. Yep. It's one of the granite ones. It's a 159 high roof. Okay, so and, it's got the high roof on yeah. there. And I did that because mm -hmm. I want to be able to stand. If I'm going to do this, I want to be able to stand. It. Yeah. Um, but I, I really liked what Wayfair Vans does, but um, I wanted to do a little more than what they do. And uh, so mm -hmm. I... And then we've got the modular L track in on the floors. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's so that's we super can cool. Pull the box down, take it out. Um, if you need more space, or if you need to go to you know Lowe's and you're building a house or building a shed or whatever. Um, so we've got it all insulated for the most part, except right. We need to frame out uh, here, which we'll get done probably today or tomorrow. Uh, we've got panels already cut for the side in here, which will give us about a 75 inch. Uh, distance between the walls so you can actually put a short queen bed in here uh, the galley will go up front we are probably be building that later this week or early next week uh, waiting on the, the lowered seat bases to arrive which mm. I think are on their <laughs> way and uh, the front seats will swivel around so you'll actually have like a workstation um, in the behind the driver's uh, seat there will be another slide out t uh, table between uh, these two boxes here and uh, so it kind of gives you a little bit of flexibility uh, on what we're going to do. We'll have, uh, we've got the lights, we'll have a set of four lights in the back on one circuit, a set of four on the front. So you'll have uh, kitchen lights and bed lights. We'll have a couple reading lights. Uh, we've got the Max Air fans. Uh, we'll have a Dometic refrigerator mm -hmm. up on this side and a Goal Zero 3000X on this side, which will power the van. And uh, we've actually, if, it comes in soon here, so it should be just a, maybe this week. The, uh, the car charging kit from Do, uh, Goal Zero, which will actually charge the, the Goal Zero while driving. Uh, so we'll have like a little living space up there, eating space, of course the bed, and we got plenty of storage space with these uh, awesome racks. So uh, trying to think, I think that's about it. We might have a little uh, step down, maybe a little cool. step out there with a lagoon table. Uh, to make it you know a little more functional, but it's uh, it's one of those things where the, it doesn't look like there's been a lot of work done, and it's uh, and I think in the next week we're going to wrap up. It's it's going to by the end of this week, uh, three or four days, it's really going to look totally different than what you see now. Definitely awesome, awesome. So check it out. Uh, we'll be done with this van in in just a couple of weeks and be doing a final wrap up video as well, but. Yeah. We're about halfway done. You can see the floor and the l trats and kind of everything that Jeff talked about. So we are looking forward to it. We are cooking along. We're gonna go to Lowe's here real quick. Yay. Get some uh, <laughs> get some hinges. Yeah, wait in long lines at Lowe's. It's some awesome. Hinges, some <laughs> you have some hinges for the so piano hinges. Yeah. So Jeff, this is gonna go. This is gonna go up. Yeah. right here yep and we built the, these out a little further because where the bed is you want to be able to open mm -hmm. if you had it all the way up it would only open there and it would kind of defeat the purpose so okay by having two smaller ones you'll actually be able to get in here and then by these uh openings on the back you can actually slide like a, a camp table camp chairs whatever else uh, fishing pole you can probably get uh, some you know break down your fishing poles and put them in there uh snowboard would probably fit in there pretty close uh, maybe not the skis, but uh, you can definitely, it just gives you a couple options on how to access uh, the storage uh, under the bed. So. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I guess that uh, wraps it up. You can kind of see the bed frame right there, and then we'll have the slats going across, so it'll be sleeping down there. So we'll, we'll get back to work, and we'll keep updating you as time progresses, and the van is coming together. So thanks so much, and we will see you guys soon.